Yesterday, a report came out that said that the Consumer Confidence Index was down to 25. Sometimes I think that might be overly optimistic, but nevertheless, I think that vote of confidence really is a reflection on our financial system, our monetary policy, our spending policies here in Congress, and then they see it in the economy. But it is fundamental for us to understand this, because if we think we can patch a system up that failed, it's not going to work. We have to come to the realization that there is a sea change in what's happening. This is an end of an era, and that we can't reinflate the bubble. Just as we devised a new system of Bretton Woods in 44, which was doomed to fail, it failed in 71, and then we came up with the dollar reserve standard, which was a paper standard. It was doomed to fail, and we have to recognize that it has failed. And if we think we can reinflate this bubble by artificially creating credit out of thin air and calling it capital, believe me, we don't have a prayer of solving these problems. We have a total misunderstanding of what credit is versus capital. Capital can't come from the thin air creation by a Federal Reserve System. Capital has to come from savings. We have to work hard, produce, live within our means, and what is left over is called capital. This whole idea that we can recapitalize markets by merely turning on the printing presses and increasing credit is a total fallacy. So the sooner we wake up to realize that a new system has to be devised, the better. Right now, I think the central bankers of the world realize exactly what I'm talking about, and they're planning. But they're planning another system that goes one step further to internationalize regulations, internationalize the printing press, give up on the dollar standard, but, tell, uh, but we have to be very much aware that that system will be no more viable. We have to have a system which encourages people to work and to save. What do we do now? We're telling consumers to spend and continue the old process. It won't work. The gentleman from Delaware, Mr. Castle, is recognized for two minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman and, and Ranking Member Backus, and I want to, to thank you for holding uh, today's hearing and to thank... Uh, All right. Um, this is not going as planned. No, it is not. We were... <laughs> we were... Here's we were told it goes. would be a very limited number of opening statements... Uh, and it seems to be getting out of control. Here's what we forgot. Everybody's taking this live. You know what that means? That Why means would they, they miss an opportunity be, uh... for free airtime? Guess right, so what? We, we're taking a break. We're going to take a commercial break, get them out of the way, so that when something really substantive is happening, we don't have to interrupt then. We'll be right back.